Welcome back guys and uh, in this tutorial we're going to carry on looking into the world of Barber and GSAP. So let's look at what we did last time. We clicked on a link and it took us to the next page and then the wipe things came up. Uh, obviously we need to get things into the right order. Um, here we're going to have a little like milk is nice thing, loader, fake loader thing. Uh, and then what we want to do is trigger the um, fade in function. So if we come back here, so we want to say at the end of the loader animation, then we start this fade in. So to do that, first of all, we're going to start by getting that little, I've called it a loader, it's not really, but let's just do it anyway. Loader and comma one second and let's go for an auto uh, yeah I need a comma there don't I that might help auto alpha and we want to take it to one okay so now hopefully we should see that little loader thing come in when we click on here we get this coming up perfect and then there we go there it is so um, let's first of all let's get these bars to move to stagger back up again before we do anything so we come in in here below here um, let's give it some room here because we're going to be doing some work on this in a minute on this loader function thing um, and then we will go stagger from to uh, and then we're going to grab the color wipes which i should have made a variable but let's just crack on uh, color wipe uh one second and then we're going to go y actually let's make this quicker let's copy this copy this line here go back here there we go color wipe one and then the y we want to make it minus 100 and we want to go to minus 200 so that should move the whole thing up so let's test this now boom uh, and there we go so if we click on page two page two comes in and then we get color bars milk is nice that finishes and there we go so that moves back up perfect right then so what we need to do is tell tell it to wait tell this to wait until our loader has finished so once this animation is done then this function will start working and to do that we need to create a new promise so let's come under our start transition and then we are going to make a variable called um, transition promise let's say transition promise uh, we're going to say new promise and we want to say function resolve come here curlies and we want to move this down to uh, da, ba, da, ba, 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 down to here so let's put that in there like so and push it off there let's just give it some space and here is where we're going to return our transition promise have we got it there there it is transition promise okay cool okay let's have a look let's have a look okay there's page one page two and that goes out and there we go so that's good at the moment um, and now we're going to come back to our loader and um, we need to say on complete function on complete function and curlies resolve okay uh, let's go back in there let's just 
move this back so you can see what we're doing a bit better. Okay, let's see and Neither there we go. So basically, uh, we are waiting. If we don't have this on, you saw it um, earlier. Uh, if you don't put the promise and the resolve on, then uh, this function fires at the same time. Everything fires at the same time. Whereas we needed it to wait until our um, until our loader had finished and then we resolve it so then that will start this function so we can see again let's have a look back here and go back to, to so click on oh something wrong there but we can work on that in a minute um so we've got page one oh oh i know we need to display none on the um, when we fade out but um, I think that's enough for now in the next one we will look at uh, the other side the um, let's come back here and we can look at this fade in function and we can get this all right but um, thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one cheers